Well, hello everyone. I'm having a little mooch around the farm this afternoon. I haven't been here for about a month or two. And already when I pulled up, there was a few little rabbits hopping around and quite a few pigeons on clover. And it's like normal here, just shooting the rabbits, pigeons and the crows. So I'm pretty confident I'll be able to put something in the bag tonight, some up for myself and some up for the ferrets. So what I'm doing is just starting it by walking along this hedge to my favourite corner, trying to avoid the cows. And just standing around really seeing what's about I've got 410 tonight got a couple of new chokes some different fiocchi cartridges to try as well yeah let's have a little walk around oh I can see Yeah, there's, there's quite a few rabbits around. And there's quite a few pigeons. There's quite a lot around actually tonight. So I'm not sure what crop he's got growing on that far side. first rabbit down anyway. Probably going to be mainly little ones tonight but he wants them removing and that's fine by me because the ferrets will have them and all these pigeons have got up as well. Right, I'm just going to sort myself out and I'm going to stand in this corner. slightly bigger one and to be honest I just pulled slightly back on that one because the cows followed me and I was trying to keep an eye on them to make sure they didn't cut across me because they've been a pain in the arse that second rabbit in the back now anyway just jumps into the nettles because the cart wheels over it was just there thick brambles but I hit it and it can't wheel backwards. That's the worst thing about shooting younger rabbits. Head shoots them and everything and they normally jump around and quite often kick themselves back into the into the cover. But I think tonight is the ideal conditions because yesterday I was going to come out but it was about 22 degrees and it was hot all day long. So we just decided to start home and have a barbecue and then today we have had a lot of rain 
right up until lunchtime, and it's much cooler. I've noticed there's more stuff about. And I've seen a lot of rabbits. I'm just coming back to where I kind of first started. I managed to lose the cows. But I'm hoping that a few of the smaller rabbits have come back out. But I'll just walk to this gate. And if there's nothing, I'll walk back and have another look for that rabbit. Do you know what? I shot straight over the top of that. <laughs> it's surprising how sometimes you do miss fairly easy shots. Oh well, it's there for another day. I went back and had a look for that rabbit. Um, I could see it, it got itself just in the hole, but it was right in the middle of that hedge. And with the fence and the thick brambles, I couldn't get to it. So it was, it was a confirmed kill. So I picked two, lost one, and completely bloody missed another one. But the chokes are doing well. I've got my local gun shop to get me some more in. And I normally shoot Fiocchi 3 inch number 6. But again, the gun shop I use had sold out, so he said try these 7.5s. And I shot them when I was out with my dad um, about a month ago when I only got that squirrel. And to be honest, they're actually performing really well through the full choke. So I can't complain. They hit the target and bringing them down. Unless you shoot straight over the top of them. I've got no excuses why I missed it. So, so I'm back to where I'm basically started now. And I'm going to go and sit somewhere along this hedge. See if I can shoot a couple of pigeons, because I do want at least one pigeon um, for the pup. I want the wings. But I can see... I can see a few more rabbits down here. That have come back out. It's like I said earlier, that's the beauty when the farmer wants you to shoot the small rabbits. You normally don't have to wait too long for them to come back out. I'm just going to sit down here now. I'll just give it about 20 minutes. That's number three, that I picked. Yeah, I was just sat on that hedge for a minute. I was just letting the rabbits air out the game bag. I've only been sat here five minutes. And I had one come out on that hedge, but it's seeing me hop back in. And so I just noticed this one. But I'm going to move back the way I came because the cows are coming up now. I think that one bolted down the hole and all. Just happened to catch that one out of the corner of my eye. I missed it. <laughs> I've missed two. Oh well. Still seeing a few of these little ones anyway. 
so I'll stand for another few minutes before I make my way up this hedge. Little rabbits don't have cartwheel around. <sighs> right, well, that's number four in the bag. And that's me done. It's just starting to rain now. It's been a really nice evening. Um, there has been quite a few rabbits about tonight. It's been hard to get on them because there's not really much cover to stalk to them. So I think what I'm going to do is get my dad out in a couple of weeks. We'll bring the rifle. If we, had the, if we had the rifle tonight, we could have easily shot 15, 20 rabbits. Because they've been sitting mainly in twos and threes along the hedge. Sometimes I'll come across um, a group of eight. But of course, you let a shot off with a the shotgun, they all go. It's like I've said a few times tonight, plus size is with these smaller rabbits, you don't have to wait too long before they're back out. So, like normal, please give me a like and subscribe guys and hit that notification bell. I've gained quite a few subscribers in the last few days, which is amazing. And also I've had quite a lot of positive um, comments about my little gun dog clip I've done on Clover. So there's been a few people wanting to see her progress who also have cockadors. So I'm more than willing to do that. As like I said, I've ended with four rabbits tonight, two that I've completely missed, and one that I hit and couldn't retrieve. So anyway, like I said guys, I'll see you soon for another one.